Queen told of cataclysmic abdication plans after failed royal family cover-up attempts. The Queen had to be informed by a courtier about abdication plans after the royal family tried to keep her in the dark. The Queen was not informed of abdication plans that would completely revolutionize the royal family, according to Italian documentary series Ulysse. Her Majesty had to wait for a courtier's indiscretion to become aware of her uncle's plans to abdicate and force her father Albert to take over the throne, making her his heir. Ulysse host Alberto Angela said, consider that she was not born to reign. She was just one of the daughters of the king's second son. And perhaps she would have remained an unknown princess all her life if one day her uncle, who had ascended the throne under the name of Edward VIII, had not decided to give up everything to marry an American divorcee. Elizabeth was just ten years old led the life of girls of her age, and was absolutely unaware of the cataclysm that had befallen her family. According to Mr. Angela it would take a member of staff of the then Princess House at 145 Piccadilly to announce news of the abdication for Elizabeth and younger sister Margaret to realize their lives would completely change. Before the intervention of the courtier, the royal's parents, Albert and Elizabeth, had tried to shield their daughters about the details of the constitutional crisis Edward VIII's abdication plans had caused. And confirmation about their change of status prompted Princess Margaret to offer her commiserations to her older sister because of her new destiny. Mr. Angela continued, in the house, however, she noticed a strange agitation and it was a servant who gave her the news that it would change her life forever, her uncle had abdicated the throne and her father had become king. At that point, the little sister exclaimed, but it means you are to be the next queen? Yes. One day, Elizabeth replied and Princess Margaret said, Poor you. Princess Elizabeth became the heir apparent to her father, King George VI, immediately after his coronation in 1937. Because of her new role within the royal family, the then princess was moved from the classes she shared with Margaret to receive additional tutoring in constitutional history. During World War II, Elizabeth joined her family's attempts to boost morale as she delivered her first broadcast message to young Britons forced to leave their homes and evacuate to the countryside because of the heavy bombing the UK was subjected to.